एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 7 ऑफ क्लास 10th ज्योग्राफी दैट इज लाइफलाइंस ऑफ नेशनल इकॉनमी सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस पार्ट 1 सेज which two of the following extreme locations are connected by east west corridor answer is silachar and porbandar second which mode of transportation reduce trans shipment losses and delay answer is pipelines further third part is which one of the following states is not connected with hvj pipeline answer is maharashtra fourth Which one of the following ports is the deepest land locked and well protected port along the east coast? Answer is Visakhapatnam. Fifth, which one of the following is the most important modes of transportation in India? Answer is railways. Sixth, which one of the following terms is used to describe trade between two or more countries? Answer is international trade. Now Question number 2 says answer the following questions in about 30 words. Part 1 says state any three merits of roadways. So answer is the three merits of roadways are first the cost of construction of roads is much lower than that of railway lines. Second roads can go through the deserts and undulating land areas. Third transportation of goods by roadways is economical as loading cost are low and they also provided the door to door services further second part says where and why is rail transport the most convenient means of transportation answer is rail transport is the most convenient means of transportation in the north plains because the region has leveled stretches of land making it easily for laying railway tracks along with this a large population and rich agricultural resources make the rail transport a profitable venture for the third part is what is the significance of a border road answer is border roads are of strategic important and they have improved accessibility in the areas of different terrain like the north and the northeastern border areas they have been helped in the economic development of these areas for the fourth part says What is meant by trade? What is the difference between international and local trade? Answer is the exchange of goods among people, states and countries is termed as trade. Whereas trade between two or more country is known as international trade and the trade occurring within the country is termed as local trade. It is carried out within cities, towns, villages of a country. Further, question number 3 says Answer the following questions in not more than 120 words. First, why are the means of transportation and communication called the lifelines of a nation and its economy? Answer is the means of transportation and communication are called the lifelines of a nation and its economy because they are the precautionaries of the development of a country. They help to develop active links between two regions. This facilitates transportation of goods and services from production units to the demand locals. Fast developing communication channels between different countries of the world has given rise to globalization. Today, India is well linked with the rest of the world which has been possible only due to transport and communication. Railways, airlines, waterways, television, radio, newspaper, internet, etc. have contributed vastly to the socio economic progress of our country they have also added sustainability to growing amenities and the facilities improving our lifestyles further second part says write a note on the changing nature of international trade in the last 15 years answer is international trade has undergone a vast change in the last 15 years first exchange of information and knowledge has surpassed the exchange of goods and commodities second india has emerged as a software giant at the international level and is earning huge amount of foreign exchange 
through its advanced software technology and knowledge and excellence in the field of information technology third tourism has also played a big role in improving india's position in international trade tourism in india has grown substantially over the last 3 decades further fourth is the commodities imported by india including petroleum and petroleum products that is 41.87% pearl and precious stone that is 29.26% inorganic chemicals that is 29.39% coal coke and butteries that is 94.17% and machineries that is 12.56% so guys here i have covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel agla sim schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health